Hi, in this tutorial we're going to have a look at using the Content Hub to import content from other apps. So we'll start off, as we normally do, by creating a brand new project from one of the templates. And we'll call this one Import Demo and stick with all the defaults. And we have there one of the very simple basic uh, template apps that we can run and it doesn't do much. Okay. So we'll start off by importing the Ubuntu content package and we'll modify this slightly to have a page stack because we're going to want a couple of different pages. Give that an idea of page stack. Give this page an idea of main page. And uh, when this page stack is complete, we will push the main page onto it and we'll place that page within the page stack and then just quickly fix our indentation. Great. So we'll now also add a second page and we'll call this the picker page because it's going to contain a content peer picker. Now a content peer picker uh, displays all of the apps that can provide content of a certain type. So we'll call this picker and we'll set a few different properties on it to let the content hub know what sort of content we're interested in. So first off, because we want to import content from another app, we tell it that the handler we want is a content handler of type source and the content type we're interested in is pictures for this. And we'll also, one small thing, use the show title property as false. Because we're going to set our own title here just as import. Content Peer Picker can provide its own titles, but we don't want to use those here. Now, let's make a quick change to this button so that it displays that picker page for us. So we'll change the text there to import and we'll uh, call the push method on the page stack uh, and give it our picker page. So, and we'll start that page off as not being visible. So if we give that a go, we should be able to see all of the apps that are currently installed that can supply images. But if we click on one of them, it doesn't currently do anything at all. So let's fix that. So what we want to do is we want to listen to the uh, peer selected signal. We can use the on peer selected handler. And this will provide us with a peer parameter, uh, which we can set a few uh, properties on if we're interested in, like the selection mode, whether we want single or multiple selection. It will default to single selection, which is all we want here, so that's good. Uh, but once we're happy with the peer, we can just call the request method on it. Now this will actually return a content transfer, which we want to keep track of. So I'll add a transfer property to the uh, main view and we'll assign that down here when we call the request method. So let's give that a run. And if I select the gallery now, it starts up the gallery for us. And we can select an item in there, uh, but it doesn't actually do anything in our app yet because we're not listening to it. Um, one other thing, we probably want to uh, pop this page on the page stack. So we go back to our main page once the uh, user has selected an app. So now when they select the gallery, the app goes back to the main page and the gallery launches. But the user, whilst the gallery is up here for the user to select things from, the user can actually still interact with our app, which we probably don't want. So there's a handy little 
uh, component called the ca uh, content transfer hint that you can add to your app to disable uh, interaction. So if we just add it in here quickly, content transfer hint, uh, set it to fill the parent and provide it with the active transfer of our transfer. So now if we do the same thing, when we select the gallery and it gets sent back to the main page, you'll see you've got this dialogue showing that there's a transfer in progress. And if we actually cancel that here, it will close the gallery for us as well. Now, to make use of the uh, information being passed back to us from the gallery, we need to listen to the uh, state changed signal on our transfer. So we'll create a connections uh, component here and give it the target of the transfer and we'll listen for the on state changed signal and if the transfer state is a uh, content transfer charged which means that there's content ready for us to collect uh, then we can do something with it. Now, since we're getting pictures here, let's add an image element to display it. Uh, we'll set the width of that to the parent width. Oops. Uh, let's set the fill mode so it doesn't get all distorted. Uh, set that as preserve aspect fit. Uh, let's also modify the width of our app a bit so it fits in a little nicer. And we can then, when we get our content here, we can set the image's source to be the URL from the first item in our transfer. So if we now give that a go, we should see something happen. So select the gallery, the gallery app gets launched. We can select an image from the gallery, say so we're happy with that and it's now available and appears in our app. And we can do the same again and pick uh, another bit of content and it'll get replaced with that one. So that covers everything you need for very simply importing from other apps. I'll do a few more tutorials on the Content Hub covering exporting to other apps and making your own app available as a source uh, also, I'll probably do a quick tutorial integrating the Content Hub and the Download Manager together, which should be fun. Uh, but that's it for this one. Hope you've enjoyed it. Bye!